Hello, in this quick screencast we're going to get started with Node.js and create a web server using Node.js. So we'll call it my web server. Click next and we could use a range of different uh, Bower, grunt file, gov file, package. So we could use various build files and distribution files, but in this case we will not do that. We simply have a main.js and here we're going to do our work. So let's do some coding, type var and put HTTP here and then we tap to the next and we type require HTTP, it's a nice start. Now let's use that HTTP and you see that we have here create server and we can use that immediately and we'll create a function here. It will not have a name and it will have a rec and a resource. And finally, we listen to 1337 and 127.0.0.1 and we pass into the console a message that we are listening to uh, HTTP 127.0.0.0.1. And 1337. Now let's use the res variable. So we say res right head and we'll pass in if there is a success. And then we're going to have our content type is going to be set to text and plain. So text plain, and here is our content type. At which point we will say hello world to the user. And we will end this with a line break. Then we run our web server. So it started up. And if we go into the browser, we can see our hello world message. Finally, note that we also have a debugger to support us. So I'll set a line break here so that we can debug and step through our code. So right now we can see here our require function and all the various attributes and properties available on it. And we can step over this into the next statement and see what is available there. So you have full support for running, debugging, as well as creating Node.js backend applications, in this case, in this example, for creating a web server. If you go to the Node.js site, you'll find many more similar examples and you can get started with Node now that you have a complete environment for doing so. Thanks, have fun with Node and with NetBeans.